In multiple regression, we deal with more than one independent variable and one dependent variable. We can measure independent variable on interval, ratio or dichotomous scale while dependent variable can be measured on interval or ratio scale. Here is the variable view of SPSS. Here the first variable is the current exam score and this is the dependent variable and study hours is the independent variable and previous exam scores is also the independent variable. Researcher want to measure the effect of study hours and previous exam scores on the current exams of the examinees. Now here is the data view and you can uh, we can analyze multiple regression first regression linear and dependent variable current exams and scores goes to the dependent box and independent variable study exam hours and previous exams shift to independent box and here the press button statistics R square descriptives culinary diagnostic and confidence interval press button continue in plots you select z predicted goes to y axis and z residual goes to x axis press continue press button save here you will select unstandardized and standardized values and in residual unstandardized and standardized values press continue press ok here is output of multiple regression correlation this is the uh, here you can check multicollinearity of independent variable if the absolute value of Pearson correlation is greater than 0.8 or close to 0.8 collinearity is very likely to exist so in this case collinearity is likely to exist but rest of the values are ok now you can focus on this table model summary this r square value is important this r square value is 0.781 it means 78.1 percent variation caused by the model in the dependent variable and adjusted r square value is 0.76 is does not increase it increases only if the new independent variable improves the model more than would be expected by chance here is the ANOVA table and this ANOVA value is significant because F value is 37.45 and P value is less than 0.05 now the coefficient these are the unstandardized coefficient and these are the standardized coefficient unstandardized coefficient used in the prediction and interpretation while standardized coefficient used for comparing the effect of independent variable here the study hours unstandardized coefficient is significant because p value is less than 0 0.05 and previous exam scores unstandardized beta is significant because p value is 0 0.05 now the multicollinearity diagnostic here condition index is important if the value of condition index greater than 15 it indicates a possible problem but, but this data doesn't have any value which is greater than 15 equal to 15 so now you can shows these value in the form of table this is the result of multiple regression here the analysis for prediction of variables on current scores of examinees number of examinees are 24 table shows that the information along with study hours and previous exam scores explain 78.1 percent variance in the dependent variable so study hours and previous exam scores have significant beta values that means these are the significant contributor to the current exam scores of the examinees so this is all about multiple regression hope you will